Hi everybody. Installing a hitch on your smart car can take you to some really fun places like riding bicycles and camping. It can even tow a U-Haul trailer almost anywhere in North America. Let's break down this hitch install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Okay, first thing we need to do is we need to take the serpentine belt dust cover off. And that is on the passenger side. There are two push pins in holding it in place. There's a push pin right here. The second one's back here. I'm just gonna use a flat blade screwdriver to pry them off. For our next step, we have to remove two existing factory bolts. They're 14 millimeter, 12 point, and they're on the rearmost left side and rearmost right side of the car. Our next step, we're gonna raise the hitch up into position um, so we can line it up with our bolt holes. We would normally use our U-Haul exclusive jack, but the angle we have to put this in on won't fit. To make the install easier, you might wanna jack up the rear end of the car because the suspension sometimes gets in the way while you're trying to put the hitch in place. Now I'm gonna put these rear bolts back in so it shows me the position the hitch needs to be put in when I drill my holes. Now that we have our hitch in the position where we need it, I need to drill a hole on the passenger side. I'm gonna start off with my smaller bit and then finish it with my reamer bit to make it to a half inch hole. The hole I need to drill on the passenger side is right here. I'm now gonna drop the hitch back down so we can enlarge the middle holes and do our fish wiring to drop the bolts to the frame. Now that we've dropped our hitch, we're gonna go ahead and enlarge our, our middle holes so that our spacers and our carriage bolts will fit through the hole. Bolt fits through. Spacer fits through now. Now we're going to install our bolt kit into the frame using a fish wire system. We're gonna start on the passenger side. I'm gonna feed my fish wire through this hole. I'm gonna come out this hole. I'm attaching my bolt and spacer to the fish wire. I'm now gonna feed the spacer for, through first and then the bolt. Then pull them through. I'm gonna leave the fish wires on so they'll help guide the hitch through the hole. Now I'm gonna put my second hole, I'm gonna put my bolt and spacer on the fish wire. I'm gonna put a, the bolt through the hole first, then the spacer, and then pull them back down through. And now I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the driver's side. Now we're gonna raise our hitch back up into position. Now that I have the hitch almost in position, I'm going to feed my fish wire through the holes in the hitch. In the middle hole, I have to add this spacer because it has to sit on top of the hitch. Like that. Now I'm gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing with my fish wire. and then I can put my 12 millimeter bolts in to hold the, the hitch in position. I only want to start them a little bit because I have another spacer I have to put on this side. So I'm gonna go over to the other side, start the other 12 millimeter bolt, and then I can put my other two spacers in. This is the next spacer that I have to put on on each side. This goes on top of the hitch and around that 12 millimeter bolt that I just put in.
Okay, all we got left to do now is hand tighten our nuts onto our bolts. They're 18 millimeter nuts. Then we'll torque them down to manufacturer specs and you can find that in the description down below. And the last thing we're gonna do is torque down our 12 millimeter bolt. And one last thing, don't forget to put your serpentine belt dust cover back on. With our hitch installed, We've lo we brought the car down to level ground so we can show you certain measurements for your hitch accessories. Eight inches from the ground to the top of the hitch, four inches from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper, and it's an inch and a quarter hitch. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories such as bike rack or cargo carrier. That concludes our hitch installation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.